Well, after a hugely successful premiere at Tempo Dance Festival two years ago, Rodney Bell returns for a seven-centre North Island tour of his award-winning autobiographical work, Meri Meri. Now, you, uh, you have the most incredible story. First up, mm. welcome, Rodney. It's such yeah, a pleasure yeah. to have you yeah. here. Yeah. Sure. Uh, you have quite an incredible story. So let's start. Can you tell us a little bit about how you ended up in a wheelchair and when it all happened? Yes, uh, back in 1990. I had a little 250 motorbike Suzuki and I was playing rugby for East Tamaki Rugby Club then, yeah, and I had a little bit too much to drink. And then um, my friends trusted me, you know, because I had a, I, I was a pretty stable guy I, and I jumped on my motorbike, crashed. Wow. Pulled my arm off, um, yeah, fractured my neck a little bit, broke my back at a, a thoracic level, so I'm paralysed from my chest down. And you spent a year in the, in the spinal unit, which mm. no doubt would have been a time of recovery, but also a lot of mm. thinking, I guess, about yeah, what happens next. Mm. So how did you go from that situation to doing dance? Well, you sort of come to a realisation of that this was, this was my new vessel. I did anyway. I, this is my new vessel, and how could I um, tune back into it and, and make it work for me, you know? Because I was just thinking from the shoulders up, but forgetting about which my is, lower Which body. is quite normal too. Yeah. Um, you it's been, numb. Because you'd been sporty too, you'd been really mm -hmm. active and sporty. Mm -hmm. And so then you went on, but before you got to the dance side of things, you mm -hmm. went and played for the, the Wheel Blacks, didn't you? The um, no, wheelchair, no, wheelchair basketball, yes, and yes. played rugby as well. Um, no, I played wheelchair bas oh. uh, basketball, but I supported the wheelchair rugby and sort of used that as fitness and um, camaraderie, you know, good guys to be around, very motivated quadriplegics. So how do you get straight back into the into the doing sport? Because it must be a head game for you too, thinking, mm. you know, mm. what you mm. can do with your body. Yeah, exactly. You go through re rehabilitation not knowing nothing really, and then you get a little bit of feeling back, and then you actually start going, wow, I'm getting a little bit stronger, you know, mentally and physically, and then your genetics kicks back, kicks back, uh, kick back kicks back in, because I'm a set of chiefs, yeah, because my dad was very physical. Right. So yeah, then that took over, and the next minute I was like, okay, what can I do now? And was it a lady that got you into dance? Yes, it was, yeah. Catherine <laughs> Chappelle. <clears throat> She's the artistic director for Touch Compass Dance Trust, a physically integrated dance company based here in Aotearoa. And I guess you can combine everything that you want to do with dance, and you've mm, really taken mm. it to the next level, mm, haven't you? What mm. do you get out of it when you're doing this performance? Mm, well, good question. She planted the seed of dance in my soul, so there's a lot of soul food I get from it, you know? And I feel like a, a, I'm in a privileged, privileged position too because there's a lot of collaboration that occurs for me to present something. So I'm not just doing me. I'm doing, you know, there's audio visual, there's a choreographer, there's lighting, there's all these other amazing people that... There's a lot that goes yeah, into it. Yeah. You um, obviously have been quite successful at it because you actually relocated to California mm -hmm, for five years, yeah. didn't you, with the Axis Dance Company. Mm -hmm, you toured yes. with them. Tell us about that. Yeah, yeah, they're based in Oakland. Yeah, I was a principal dancer with them and, yeah, it was, it was amazing. Got a lot of uh, world-renowned choreog choreographers come in and do works on us. <clears throat> I learnt a lot, but also to represent Aotearoa on, a, on the international stage as well, you know, you sort of like realise your culture, you realise mm. where you're from and, and you celebrate the, uh, you know, you celebrate Aotearoa more than you would when you're here, that's what I felt. You always do, don't you, when you travel? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there was, a bit, uh, there was a period of homelessness as mm -hmm. well when you were overseas, how did that come about? Yeah, after my contract uh, finished with Axis, so, you know, in the arts, you, a lot of it's done because for passion, you know, you, you're there expressing yourself, and, and that drives it. And so I ended up with not saving much, you know, but pretty much on the poor other side, on the poor side. And my, I didn't want to put pressure on my family. I was stubborn. I got myself there. I thought I could get myself back, so I went to the street. So you slept out at night, so some nights must have been freezing. Yeah, yeah. So well, keep it was freezing. Well, you just sort of, like when you get into survival mode, your body, you know, you draw on all these, like, in the lived experiences, sort of come to the surface. But you obviously ended up back home again. Yes, yes. And you've taken all those experiences yes. and wrapped them into a performance called Medi Medi, yes. which is a multimedia experience, really, isn't it? Yes. So tell us more about that. Why should we come and see it? I think you should come and see it because it's, uh, like I said, it's a, a collaboration, all these main artists that produce this, Moving of the Human, under the artistic direction of Malia Johnston. Yeah, and plus it's, it's um, I feel like, because it's done so well, it's not only just my story, but you know, the, you can come there, maybe it, it'll empower you in some way, you take a little bit away from it, but just come and see a really good show.
Fantastic. Love it. It's been an absolute pleasure talking yeah. to you. Kilda. Thanks so much for joining us. You're welcome. Rodney Bell's Seven Centre North Island Tour of Medi Medi kicks off in Auckland next Tuesday. You can check mm. out the Movement of the Human website for ticket details. Yes, yeah, so many layers to the sky.